there's always an upward climb in our walk with Jesus. The Bible says that the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. Different levels of faith, different levels of growth. We are growing in our walk. We are growing in our knowledge of the Lord. Yet, we have to be consistent in going forward. We can't let apathy get a hold of us. We can't let our hearts get filled with fear. And we stop moving in our walk. The righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. And the Bible says the just shall live by faith. We walk by faith. And there's always going to be a constant moving forward. And there's going to be some opposition in the unseen realm. And what I mean by that is you're going to feel some friction. There's going to be some opposition in the unseen realm. You're going to have to overcome fear. You can't let fear get a hold of your heart. We have to share in the sufferings of the gospel. And what I mean by that is when you stand for Christ, you're going to suffer. If we are God's children and we are born again into the kingdom of God, we will suffer and go through the things that Christ went through. Christ was persecuted. We will be persecuted. When you stand for the word of God, you will be ridiculed. Yet you can't let fear get into your heart where you become ashamed of the gospel. You become ashamed of Jesus Christ. And so many professing Christians, they allow that to happen to them. They allow fear to get a hold of their heart and they become ashamed of the gospel. They don't want to suffer for the Lord. They don't want to be ridiculed anymore for Jesus. And we have to guard our hearts and keep ourselves abiding in the love of God. Keep ourselves abiding in prayer. Keep ourselves moving forward so we don't let this happen to us. And what happens is your spiritual life begins to lock up. You no longer are being a witness for Jesus. The born-again Christian is to be a witness, and we are going to suffer. I want to read a scripture for us. And it's in the book of Timothy, chapter 1. I'm going to start right here. And we all know this scripture I probably preached about it a lot. And it's chapter 1, 2 Timothy. And I'm going to start right here in uh, verse 5. So I want to make a point that Paul the Apostle is writing to Timothy. And it's clear in the scripture that Timothy was having a battle with fear. And Paul wrote to him to admonish him to partake of the sufferings of the gospel, to not be overcome with fear, to not be ashamed of the testimony of Jesus Christ. Now, I want us to see this in Scripture. In verse 5, this is Paul speaking to Timothy. When I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you, which dwelt first in your grandmother Lois, and your mother Enos, and I am persuaded, is in you also. Therefore I remind you to stir up the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God has not given you a spirit of fear, but a power and of love and of sound mind. Now Paul is speaking to Timothy in the scripture, but the Holy Ghost is speaking to you, Christian. I must say that again. Paul is speaking to Timothy in the Scripture. But the Holy Ghost is speaking to you, Christian. 
He says, stir up the gift of God that has been placed inside of you, Christian. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and of love and of a sound mind. Now, verse 8 says this. I want us to pay attention to this. Therefore, do not be ashamed of the testimony of the Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. And there's a comma. And it says, but share with me in the sufferings of the gospel according to the power of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The Holy Ghost is speaking to us in Scripture, Christian. God has not given us a spirit of fear. The Holy Ghost is saying, stir up your gift. Do not be ashamed of the testimony of the Lord but share in the sufferings of Christ. And what the Holy Ghost is saying is that when you stand for the Lord, you're going to suffer. There will be some division in your family. There will be people that will be angry at you. It's going to be a narrow way. But the Holy Ghost is saying in the Scripture, share in the sufferings of Christ. Don't let fear get a hold of your heart. God never gave you a spirit of fear. That fear has not come from the Lord and you need to bring resistance to it like it says in the book of James chapter 4. Submit to God and resist the devil and he will flee. That fear has not come from the Lord. That fear that is holding you back from being a witness for the Lord Jesus Christ, it has not come from God. And the Lord is saying that you are to bring resistance to it and don't allow it to get a hold of your heart and to bear the testimony of Jesus and be faithful, to share in the sufferings of the Lord Jesus Christ. You're going to suffer, the Holy Ghost is saying. If you're going to be faithful to Jesus, the Holy Ghost is wanting you to understand you're going to suffer. This is part of walking with the Lord. You're going to partake of the sufferings of the Lord Jesus Christ. And God doesn't want you to be overcome with fear. He says resist that. Bear the testimony of Jesus. Be a witness. Don't let the devil shut your mouth with fear. There's a lot of professing Christians out there where their mouths have been silenced because of fear. And the Holy Ghost is speaking right now and He's saying, God has not given us a spirit of fear, fear Christian. That fear has not come from Him and you are to bring resistance to it and to share in the sufferings of Christ. We are not of this world. And the world is going to think the message of the cross is foolishness. That's what the Bible says. The message of the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ is foolishness to those who don't believe. The world is going to think we're foolish. The world is going to ridicule us in our walk, in our obedience to the Lord. Though our unbelieving family members are not going to like us. They're going to get upset. Men are going to get angry. We will be persecuted. The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. The message of the cross is foolishness to those who don't believe. Yet it's the power of God to those who are saved. And God is saying, Christian, share in the sufferings of Christ. He never called you to be part of this world. He called you out of darkness to be part of His kingdom to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. God never gave you a spirit of fear. Submit to God. Resist this fear. Share in the sufferings of Christ. Endure hardships like a good soldier in the Lord Jesus Christ. Endure sufferings that come because you are are standing for the Lord because they will come and we must partake of this if we belong to Jesus. God never gave you a spirit of fear, Christian. Resist this. Be bold for the Lord. Be encouraged today. The Holy Ghost wants you to be full of courage to stand for the Lord. God loves His kids. 
God loves His children. And God is with us. Be bold for the Lord. And stand in obedience to His Word. Stand for the Lord Jesus Christ. And be blessed today. Be encouraged. I hope this Word encouraged you. Keep moving in your walk and fighting the good fight of faith. In Jesus' mighty name.